Constantino. Ole. Pound for pound. Middle Giant Boxing. Here we have Rayo Valenzuela, obviously. We're a few weeks away from the fight. Obviously, Pitbull Cruz. How you feeling? You look strong. You look powerful. I feel good, man. Uh, to be honest, I'm ready. I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to get in there and, you know, show, showcase my skills. And obviously, you just uploaded a picture. You look super strong. How's Cam been? Cam's great. You know, um, we're, ta we're tapering down the weight now a little bit. So I'm feeling faster. You know, I was, I was, you know, I'm going up in weight, so I was putting on some muscle. Now, you know, we're bringing it back down, and um, you know, everything's where it should be. Uh, did you see what Pitbull said uh, as far as like why he didn't shake your hand in that situation? I believe he said because I I said I was gonna knock him out. I was yeah. gonna, I, yeah, that's my prediction. You get me? This is fi we're fighters. This is what we do. Let's not act like little girls and be like, you know, he offended me. What up, man? What's up, Virgil? How, you How are you, bro? Nice shirt, crumb. Thank you. Hey, hey what's, what's up? What's up? What we do, you know, is the thing with our new generation is like, you say your predictions, like we're fighters. What am I supposed to say? Like, he's a, he's a hell of a fighter. I have nothing but respect for Pitbull. And do I think I can knock him out? Yeah. Does he think he can knock me out? Probably, but you know, doesn't mean that. Gotta act a certain way or disrespect him and not shake his hand, his hand in public, you know? What do you vision is happening in the fight? Do you think you'll win or do you think you'll knock him out? I think I'm gonna hurt him. You know, I, I, I don't see myself not hurting him. You know, it's gonna be a clash. You know, I got everything to fire back too. Yeah, I got a jab, I got footwork, I got speed, I got power. You know, um, and I got skills, so, you know. Everybody's just gonna have to tune in August 3rd. Eddie Hearn said he's predicting you to pull up the upset. The upset? Yeah. He said that? Yeah. Oh, that's dope. I, I, didn't know, um, I didn't know about that. I appreciate him for that. What, what are some of the DMs or support you're getting from people? Obviously, because this is a big fight, because I know a lot of fighters get DMs when there's big fights. Yeah. Uh, to be honest, just without, without naming names, if you don't want to. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of uh, fighters, you know. Um, Ultra Valdez, Julio Cesar Chavez, senior, you know, to, that one was a big one because, you know, he's a legend. And um, and he's from where I'm from originally, Sinaloa, Mexico. So to, mochi, so to have his support um, means a lot to me. There's not many people like Mexican, you know, I guess. There's been like one or two, like Oscar Valdez, um, but you know that's kind of about it. They haven't been real vocal, so you know it's dope, it's dope to have a legend supporting. Right. And obviously, you're the co-main event, but a lot of people feel like you're the main event. Like you guys are gonna steal the show. Yeah. Because obviously we know when two Mexicans collide, it's a war. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a hell of a show. Like this off the first round, you better be sitting down and you know tune this. And obviously, Rayo, this is. To my understanding, your, big, your first stadium fight, I'm sure first of many. Yeah. You know, how do you control those nerves? Those, those, those I, fought at the, I fought at the Dallas St Stadium. Oh, Dallas Cowboys Stadium. Yeah, when I fought. Um, I fought a couple times there. My third fight, and then when I knocked out Bandido Vargas. So I, I guess I have experience. Um, and, you know, and I feel, to me, it feels like that's where I should be. And that's where I belong, you know, so. Feel good.